So we don't just have the ability to move things left and right, up and down. We can also rotate things, which is kind of cool. So if we come in here and we say, um, I'm going to say rotate shape, we're going to do shape.increment rotation. And let's set this at, oh, let's say 30. So we're going to move 30 degrees. And just like, we'll run that. And you see we've rotated 30 degrees, just like um, our increment left and increment top. This is positive and negative values. In this case, positive values rotate it clockwise, negative counterclockwise. So to show you that, I'm going to rerun this code. And let's do, let's say, negative 300. Okay, we run that. And look at that, we've rotated negative 300 from our earlier position which lands us right here at um, basically a 90 degree turn. So one other thing that we want to make sure that we do is learn how to set absolute degrees. And again, it's, it's all on a 360 degrees. Um, so if we do shape dot rotation, we can set that absolute. And I'm going to set it at 0. And that'll kind of give you an idea of the orientation. We see that 0 degrees is how it normally is. And then 90, 180, 270, okay? So you're going to be seeing a lot of that. And that's actually why when we were at 30 and we did negative 300, we actually ended up at negative 270, which is just positive 90. So that's kind of cool. That's how rotation works in Excel VBA.